In today's video, we're going to be reviewing a product called the Interactive Human Body by a company called Fat Brain Toys. The purpose of this video is to hopefully help you find out if this is a good product for your homeschooling education. I think I am. And if you saw my video from last year where I reviewed the Squishy Human Body product, then you know I was a fan of it for several reasons. So now it's time to see if the additional features on the Interactive Human Body can give it a leg up on the competition. Because having an anatomy model like this to help supplement all your homeschooling biology, physiology, human anatomy lessons is, of course, a no-brainer. Starting with the basic facts about the interactive human body, it is a 14 inch tall anatomy model that contains 60 pieces. It advertises for kids eight and up. And the thing my son liked most about it is in contrast to the squishy human body, the interactive human body comes with a stand and is fully poseable. The pieces are made from what appears to be a high quality rubber and they snap together fairly easily once you line them up just right. Some muscles are easier than others like the pectoralis muscles to snap to the rib cage and getting the trapezius muscles to have a firm attachment at times were a bit tedious, but all in all it's not that bad. The skeleton model is actually quite accurate even down to the minor details like the shoulder and hip joints being represented by ball and socket joints and the knee and elbow joints being made to function accurately like the hinge joints they truly are in the human body. So difference number one in the two products, the squishy human body that I reviewed last year doesn't move while the interactive human body can be made to pose and so ultimately it wins the SmackDown Ow! version of this round's competition. The educational materials that come included in each packet are quite different as well. The interactive human body comes with three almost mini poster size educational sheets that do spend varying amounts of time focusing on each organ system. Even though it appears that a considerable amount of that time is spent on the musculoskeletal system, it at least mentions all 11 organ systems. Some of them rather briefly, however, considering it used a total of 19 words discussing the entire lymphatic system. And I know the lymphatic system is nobody's favorite. I actually enjoy the lymphatic system because did you know it plays a crucial role in and while the squishy human body also comes with educational materials and it is preferably booklet or pamphlet instead of three random mini posters, compared to the mini posters and the material that's included, it also appears quite limited. For example, it includes several different facts about the gastrointestinal organ system, but they are just informative pieces about various organs and how they all are related as a system. This is actually something I didn't pick up in the review last year. It actually doesn't even mention the words organ systems in the pamphlet that comes with the squishy human body. While the interactive human body educational materials may be brief, they at least mention all 11 organ systems and provide at least some information on each one. Several organ systems are completely left out in the Squishy Human Body's educational pamphlet. And again, it doesn't even mention that there are 11 total organ systems in the materials. So all in all, while the educational materials for both products are a little bit limited, the Interactive Human Bodies does offer more detail. So the winner again among the two, the Interactive Human Body, which gives it its second slap to the face. Ow! And while completely unrelated and possibly unimportant, this guy at least has eyeballs. It does make it a little bit extra creepy, but eyes always beats no eyes. Okay, moving on, the next difference is how they fit together. While the interactive human body has organs and bones that snap together and are all made of plastic, the squishy human bodies are, well, pretty squishy. And as somebody who has personally held live and functioning human organs in their hands, these definitely feel more realistic. I realize that is in no way important from a homeschooling standpoint, but considering the squishy human body comes with forceps and tweezers, it does allow for a little bit more of a medical exploration feel to the entire experience. So from an overall texture standpoint, winner goes to the squishy human body, we'll do a customary headbutt. So in the end, which one should you buy? Neither really function as a complete unit in biology, anatomy, or physiology, but both function pretty well as a supplement. Ultimately, however, though, given that this model has a stand, it is bigger, it is poseable, it actually looks better on the desk when it's not being in use. More importantly, it's more anatomically accurate, as you can see many more muscles included compared to the squishy human body that just has bones on the right side and demonstrations of muscles on the left. Considering all of that, I would purchase the interactive human body. If you want more information about this or want to see different reviews than mine, then click on the link that I've included in the description below. In case you didn't see it, keep in mind that I've reviewed other anatomy supplement materials like the placemat, and if you're interested in more information about that, click on the video right here. I hope this helps everybody, and I'll see you next time.